Frank always wants to sponsor lead in. Yeah. And live. Mm, Kyle's muted. <laughs> oh, <so> Joke. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Live with a one shot. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, you're in for a treat as Carol finally gets off her dead ass and she DMs something for us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff like this cool phone case uh, mm -hmm. or a... Uh, toilet seat cover or anything else it's down there uh if you want to shoot the shit with us uh in our discord channel it's down there most importantly if you would like a seat on one of our one shots or on our talk show on tuesday m hobo inc twitter gmail let us know we'll get you on there uh thank you pirate dog dice for dice that are going to kill all of Car carol's uh npcs and of course oddfishgames.com when your game stinks like carol <laughs> uh, you can make it smell better keep in mind out on our uh twitter uh, page is the notice for the next how to rpg with your cat totally free from oddfishgames.com but you do have to sign up check out our twitter site and now that moment you've been waiting for carol's turn You're oh my god uh this is going to be, uh, hopefully this is going to be a ton of fun. It was a ton of fun. We play tested it last week. So, uh, you know what? Uh, I'll introduce myself. I'm Carol. I am a commission mini painter, but I'm also a longtime gamer and an occasional GM. This is my second time GMing on the show. So the first time I've had a blast, I just haven't had a lot of time to write stuff. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, let's go around the horn. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with David. David, uh -oh. who are? You? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm David. I'm usually on our Thursday night show, Cacophony, and uh, more likely on Tuesday shows on Between the Rolls. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Gabriel. Uh, he is a human monster slayer, so ranger. So. All right, awesome. Not that guy's. All right, Kyle. Oh, uh, Kyle. Yeah, of course not. Fine, I'm skipping him. Uh, DJ. We have my best buddy in the world, DJ, uh, who <laughs> is decided to join us tonight for this bit of insanity. So go ahead, DJ. Introduce yourself and your character. Well, as Carol said, I am DJ. I will be playing Motley Silverbeard, uh, life cleric Hildorf. Uh, I am a very clumsy person, but uh, I have lots of um, uh, lots of spells and very, very good abs. <laughs> abs, okay. Uh, all right, Kyle, are you ready yet or no? Um, hold on. Three, loading, hold loading, on. Two, loading. One. All right, Frank, who are you? Introduce yourself, and he gets one more shot. I am Frank. Uh, normally, I DM this. I also write for Adventures in Philbar. We recently put out our 400th fucking scenario on Friday. 400. Uh, this show is for mature audiences only, mostly because I have a foul mouth. <coughs> and I'm just going to figure out. I am Humanus, <coughs> a tabaxi berserker. And uh, I'm going to fight okay? with my testicles swinging away uh, just below my uh, cool tattoo of a dead Mickey Mouse skull. So I am, uh, I am ready for, uh, I am ready for this. Uh-huh. All right. So uh, just as a disclaimer, uh, if the tabaxi dies, it's not because I hate tabaxi. It's because I hate Frank. <laughs> Racist. He deserves a measure of Fucking payback after what he's put Taryn through on the campaign. Uh, tabaxi with a tramp stamp. There you go. <laughs> Kyle, are you finally ready? I had to get the box set up. If my wife walks in and I'm not using the box, I'm screwed. <coughs> uh, so what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, man, tell everybody <laughs> who you're playing tonight. Hold on. I got to rename the character and... 
because otherwise you won't remember. Wait, where is that at on the thing? Get bumped off right before we right act. click on this. I screen. really did. Did I? It's on a Apple thingy. Oh, you just t you're on a tablet like me. It's just <clears> yes. under the under the uh, under the. It's under the top under. And it's eight oh five. Are we gonna do this shit or not? <laughs> <laughs> Can I change this character? Just no name. Free name. Ah, there we go. Ah. His name Hello. is Joey. Tonight I am going to be playing a uh, half elf. No, half elf. No, that's Terrence's character. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. Uh, I am out of sorts today. I've turned 30. I've gone senile. Woo! And all come Hello. rushing in all at once. So uh, uh, forgive me for that. Uh, and tonight I will be playing Jody the. Uh, Oath of Redemption, Ballad and Goliath. Covered in lots of chains and manacles. And if you uh, look at me tonight, I have a little goblin chained to my leg. He was bad and he was sneaking apples and he must repent. You're going to use him as an improvised weapon, aren't you? Of course not. I am I am <laughs> a good, good character. He's not Caitlin, so... <laughs> Yeah, Jody, Jody's one of my, I'll tell you, Jody's one of my favorite characters that's ever appeared on the show. So thank you for bringing him in. I love hey. him so much. I am um, going to cuddle the big, big, evil guy really good. <coughs> I'm going to oh, teabag the big, bad guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Isn't that same thing? Bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get this. That looks right. like if you come into a pile of shit and mix it up, that is what that die looks like. Wow. <laughs> that, that would be that one. Oh, my God. That's right. You have shit dice. I have blood in my stool, hence the dark color. Yeah. <laughs> oh. right. That's, that's right. I'm playing tonight, bitches. Back. It's going to go coarse. I mean <laughs> Please, guys, feel free to murder Hobo Frank. I, I, I don't have any issue with it. I'll adjust everything and make it easier if you guys do this. I don't have an... And I'm watching football, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't go unconscious. Yeah, DJ, don't go unconscious. All right, so <laughs> you guys are in the town of Mellis. In time for the Feast of Shadows Fall, a three-day affair with Harvest Balls Games, a jack o' lantern festival. She said balls. Balls and ejaculate. Balls. <laughs> balls and ejaculate. Got it. Balls are right there. Uh, fun food and a feast. But this is more than just a mere harvest festival. This is also the time of the Dance Macabre, which is a sight to behold. For three nights of the festival, the dead come out to dance in the town graveyard. It is quite a spectacle with ghosts zombies skeletons even haunted old suits of armor coming out to walk scary spooky skeletons and shivers <laughs> down my spine standing upon nice. the roof of a, of a large crypt stands the violinist a woman clad in a uh, black dress with black scarves and such uh, over her head her clothes are very old and in tatters her music is enchanting even to the living who gather around to watch but you're not compelled to stay there the spirits seemingly know nothing else, just the music and the dance and ignore everything, which is why it is safe for the townsfolk to watch. But, so you guys have spent the day at the festival and it is time so the townsfolk all go up to the graveyard and they're all, you were all gathered around waiting for the spectacle, but something is amiss. Shortly before the last light of day, it is faded in, Faded into night, the townsfolk and the elves celebrants who have gathered around. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> I put the thing down and I can't read it that way. Sorry, uh, and the elves celebrants gather around in the graveyard expectation. The keeper emerges out of the crypt, but she has no violin in hand. A disturbed and fearful murmur runs through the crowd. Where is it? Where is my violin? Who has taken it? The I don't have watching. violin, but you can take this. Play the boogie woogie boogie boy of Company B. By the way, for everybody, I have a flute. You might be able to participate with my lady. <laughs> Just gonna have a big pipe, smoke. <clears throat> Thank you for noticing, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just sitting over here, just drinking my pumpkin daiquiri. I, I'll, look at the tab- I'll look at the tabaxi. I'm just like, I've seen bigger flutes. <laughs> Mine still feels good when it gets played. <laughs> DM, you- I'd like to take charcoal and make bones on my pure white skin. Oh, you could have done that before. That's all. Right, for- you probably got like the face tat- uh, the face painting and everything where the, all the kids and all the kids were crying because he was like digging up all the time. Body. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, do you guys actually want it? You guys actually want to play? I mean, you can keep repeating amongst yourselves. I've cut this as short as I asked you. More or less, I'll just unleash all hell and, and kill you all in five minutes if you really want. So, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, so it said, she goes, Who is taken at the figure in black speaks? Her voice of raspy stage whisper. I must have it back. Do you know? Do any of you know what ha- happens if I don't get it back? Well, do you? No. No. I don't get any don't. more drink. <laughs> the townsfolk at this point say, oh shit, and scatter and run away, leaving you four suckers to uh, talk to her. Uh, let's see. So, do you have anything you wish to ask? <coughs> Where'd you leave it lost? (laughs) It was in the crypt where it always is. Uh, Basically, I sleep for the entire year and I only wake up these three nights to play the dance macabre. That seems like (laughs) negligence on your part. That really seems terrible. (laughs) That is how it works. Do you leave the crypt (laughs) unlocked as well? Maybe even leave it ajar so people can sneak in? Oh, but Stephen and I look at the goblin. Did you take her violin again? There are, no, 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 no. There are wards that were on this. Apparently, apparently, whoever took it has figured out how to bypass the wards. That sucks. What, are you letting your wards sleep too? You shouldn't pay them. <laughs> she would say, honestly. Also, I would maybe name them something different than ward. Maybe call one Stephen, one Earl. Beaver. 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 Haven't you ever heard of magical wards? They're not what, question, old hag. Are, are, oh. the, are, are the dancing people started yet? Not yet. Oh, so we could go into the crypts. You can, but as soon as as soon as it gets dark and it'll be like in two seconds. Are the undead going to rise and start eating people? What's that? Sorry, what's that, uh, Jody? Are the undead going to rise and start eating people now that they cannot dance to your music? That is very possible. They You I, don't know what happens. Little, Why do you play every year then if you don't even hey. know what's going to happen if you don't play? Quiet, quiet, quiet. I want to hear her speak for a moment. I tell you, you fool. The first night. There's still little residual magic from this ritual left over. So they can kind of wander around, but they're restricted in what they can do. They can't really wreck the town. The second night, they can take more actions. Uh, they can they can definitely, you know. They, they can, can take a move action, a regular action, even a bonus action. <laughs> that one, those actions may include taking somebody up and, and biting them or or they can kind of start wrecking things. The third night, though, if I do not get it back by the third night, by the, the dawn after the third night, they will be free to go about and destroy the town. Where are we headed See, after this? Because I want to go there now. <laughs> See, this is, are you this is why you don't <laughs> deal things with the dead. The dead always go bad in some fashion. So wait, <sighs> what, what, what yeah. exactly? Are you asking? I'm fucking with you. I know you're fucking with me, but there was actually something there. I, I will ask a serious question. Is the graveyard secured or did some asshole leave the gate open? Because if they did, I want to shut the gate so the undead don't come. There's out. like no fence or anything, probably. There's, I mean, there's, there's like, yeah, no, there's like a fence around it, but honestly, I mean, ghosts, ghosts and like, it might keep the skeletons in there for a bit, but you know, People can climb, skeletons can climb, ghosts can go right through. It turns into fire fests <laughs> real quick. 
Well, a ghost is like challenge four, and we're only third level. So All right, fine, fine. I guess I, I can't let these undead just roam around, killing everybody. It's going to make lots more work for me. And I'm slow, so I better get started. So where's your, where's your sleeping house? It is right over there. You guys can see it. That's a big crypt. In fact, uh, to point of reference, I would have used. Did the... you did you just give us a quest to go retrieve an item from your house? Just that's just down the way. Oh, just, I hate my... those quests. Did you not see the yellow exclamation point over her head? Clearly, this <laughs> right, right there. Third yeah. level, that's... right? That sounds like a first level job. I it's begin to lick day. myself. <laughs> it is not in my house. If it was in my house, I'd have it right now. But oh, wait, might- there's an old lady with a cat in a tree. I said there might be a clue in there. You don't know that that you could find to help you find it. Now I can sense its direction. It has not gone far. I don't know exactly where it is. But I know it's not far, and it's. Uh, hold on, Carol needs to find it. Where the hell it is? Oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! No! I have no! I have no! It's lots of this. I've been. We go there. That's where we go. <laughs> uh, you gotta know where there is. Uh, you know what? For shit's a girl goes. It's out. It's towards the west. It's not far. To the west. To the west. West but, is the best. So what is what is to the west of us? Uh, lots this of. This is land. me asking the GM. Yeah, lots of land. Uh, forest. You know, evil forest. Far. What's that? Evil forest. Sure, there's an evil forest out there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead to the house and see if there's anybody or anything still lurking around that might crypt? have left the clue or whatnot. I will finish my licking myself and follow him slowly, nonchalantly. Uh, and I'm very loud when I'm walking. I yeah, my character is like a seven deck, so I am like just tromping through, getting caught on stuff. I'd probably knock over a tombstone. Oh crap! Uh, just try to put it back up. I will I will literally knock over tombstones. I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just like walk over, whack. <laughs> you have to make strength checks. They're not exactly lightweight here. I got All a right. 15. I'll be okay. All right. You're going over to the crypt, right? Yes. Uh-huh. I will have- follow the uh, quest lead for the uh, for the quest giver. Yeah. I take the last <laughs> sip of my pumpkin colada and yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin colada. Do you have a marching order, folks, as you go into the crypt? I guess I'd be first unless somebody passes me since I'm slower. <laughs> I'll be second because I don't care to pass him. Okay. Uh, you two, any order? You're paladin. You want to be? You can go uh, side by side. Okay. Go side. I'm going to I stop go right side before by I, get side. I have the little goblin who is manacled to my ankle right now. I keep looking over at the at, at him and the goblins. You should just let the thing go and just get rid of it. One of the two. It's not a tumor. It <laughs> literally is a tumor. It's attached to him. Now we got like four frontline fighters, or do we? I don't know if uh, I don't know if Gabriel is a frontline fighter or you're going you're trying to shoot stuff. So uh, actually, I mean I I can eight. take I can take point. You know, I've got the senses things so right, well, Max, he does not care i'm going to just stop for no particular reason whatsoever yeah. all right so i'm assuming then who goes into the crypt i'll go in i uh i'll, I'll take a quick look around at the door see if uh, there was any forced entry or anything doesn't look like forced entry i go and make an investigation check <laughs> <laughs> that's a one <laughs> You I wave to him as he looks at me. <laughs> you see not a damn thing. You There's these two dangling doorknob balls, and I'll just take my hammer and kind of smack them a little bit and see if it rings. <laughs> what? No, rings. that's his. Oh, that's his waist. Sorry. <laughs> the door does not seem to really be locked. Then again, she just walked out it, so I mean, door's not locked. Looks fine. You're going in. Yeah, I go in. Uh, go. What's the illumination like on the inside? How's the it's visual? Dark in there. I don't oh. care. Dark vision. Yeah. Well, human that, pro- human that doesn't problems. work for me. <laughs> human problems. Solve it yourself. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Who's well, next? If it's or not going to screw everybody up, I'm going to take out the, the bullseye lantern and kind of okay. look around. Ah, I chase where the bullseye lantern. I thought so. I was <laughs> waiting. I was waiting. I want like a creature that's just literally a red dot. <laughs> All right, Jody. Yes. Are you going in? Real quick, I turn. I look at Stephen. Stephen, you stole an apples. You murdered an entire family and the kittens as well. Do you feel like you have been redeemed and are going to do good things from now on? And Stephen says... I'm not playing, Stephen. You can decide that for yourself, man. <laughs> it is in PC. I cannot be both PC and in PC. Yes, I good. I, I, I promise I redeem myself. I'll go away. Just leave me. Just let me go. I will I help him redeem himself by cat. hacking on him since he killed cats. Seventeen plus four with my hand axe, twenty-one. I think he, I think he takes off the leg too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How much your AC, Jody? Murder hobo. Eight, my AC is twenty. It's twenty. I'm not hitting Jody. I'm hitting Steven. I would Part like to give you disadvantage <laughs> on doing that. He's tied to his leg. <laughs> Fortunately, you 19 no plus high. 4. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, Jody would give about a point of AC at that point. Eight hit so points. You, so you're decapitating Jody? I'm helping Jody by killing Steven. Steven, right. okay, fine. You are you, forgiven. <laughs> you can do eight hit points of damage to Jody. Oh, because he went Why are you doing that. That is rude. Okay, he was attached to your leg and he rolled a 24, you said, or 23. Uh, the first one was the 17, so that's that a 21. Would, that now that I would go with, with Jody will give enough protection that you didn't get through, it just bounced off the armor. But the second one was a 20. Oh, no, that was only one attack. Disadvantage. Oh, the only did one. Okay, I thought you rolled like a 24. Sorry. All right. I, I did a 24 and a 21. He says I had to go at disadvantage 21. Okay, fair. But the murder hobo ink came up, so that's six plus two, eight. What does matter? You kill friggin' Steven, and we move that on. That is one. <laughs> yeah, I retire. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Maybe we'll be able to actually accomplish this game tonight, then. Oh, oh. I have a goal tonight now. It's going to run long. No, no, it's not going <laughs> to run. I'll just friggin' end it. I'll just get the 20 level itch in there, and he'll just look at you all, and you all just die. Rocks fall, everyone dies. All right, so, uh, well, I'm you rubbing want... my testicles as he does it. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Who's inside the crypt? I know. I am. Okay, you two go ahead and make first. I'll tell you what you see, actually. Uh, do you do anything to illuminate the situation, Gabriel? Uh, yes, I have the lantern. Okay, that's right. Yeah, weren't you distracted by that? Uh, I was, but yeah. then I heard he was killing cats, and that distracted me further. I'm easily distracted. <laughs> All right, so you were still What'd you say? <laughs> hey, so you, guys, so you guys are inside. You see. Uh, you see basically where... Uh, you see where she normally, so you see like a coffin inside, which has been opened, which you can okay. get probably where she sleeps. Oh my uh, God, someone stole the body. You also see, you're not there, by the way, you're still outside. You also see on left and right, there are two suits of armor that are just, right now, they're just there. And in the back corner, there's a couple of skeletons. Uh, okay. Um, aside from the Not coffin, it, do, animated yet. Yeah. <laughs> aside from uh, the coffin, do I get any other? If I do an investigation check, can I see if there's any other traces of undead in the crypt? Uh, well, I don't know if investigation will give that to you. I think you need to have like the ability to sense it. Uh, I do. I favored an enemy, and I'm looking for obvious, but I, I can sense it too. I can cast no, to sense it. Nothing <laughs> is animated yet. Okay. <laughs> Undead yet. 
Okay. That makes All right, so you're going to take a round to investigate. Well, you can make an investigation check. Uh, yes, I'm going to make an investigation check. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Okay, investigation 16. I believe that's good enough. So you go and you wander in towards the far end and you see a piece of cloth nearby. There's like a little table something at the back end and you see a piece of cloth there that's like been a piece of really tattered cloth. Like it was, you know, taken off of something really old where that's breaking down. Um, you pick it up, it's like a really deep blue cloth. Uh, does it match the cloth of the violin player? Do I no, recall? No, it seemed to. Okay. Okay. All right. So you have, right, so that was your round. What do you want to do this round? Mortley? Um, Mortley will uh, look around a little bit. Um, so the coffin, it, I'm assuming it like just folds up and down. It doesn't like, there's not like a slab or anything on it. No, no, it's just, it's just got like a simple wooden top with hinges. Does it look like there was a place where the uh, violin was, like uh, a stand, or does it appear more like it was in the coffin with her? It said there's like a table at the back where he's investigating. Okay, so well, he's investigating that, so I'll go over to the skeletons and just uh, investigate them, see if there's anything odd about them. Uh, make, sure they, it, make sure it looks like they haven't moved or anything recently. They don't look like they've moved recently. Uh, all right, you two. They had that's that's your action. It's a skeleton. You two, what are you doing? Uh, I after peeing on Stephen's deceased body to display dominance, I go ahead and push over another headstone on accident as I try and sit on it with a bit too much ass. All right, uh, Jody, what are you doing? I will take remains of Stephen and I will go into the crypt. All right. I will shove him in the uh, coffin underneath a pillow. Perhaps he will come back to life and redeem himself that way. Okay, so you three are in the middle. Let me, I'm going to move <laughs> for myself. Just uh, yell if you need my assistance, gentlemen. <laughs> I begin we to close myself. the door on him. I found uh, <laughs> Remember, if you just leave the door open, he's not going to be able to decide uh, if he's going to come in or out. I exactly. want D&D! <laughs> and game. Okay, so. All right, so I'm going to say this. At the end of the round, as you're screwing, you're looking at that skeleton, all of a sudden, it starts to arise. Go ahead and roll it. Eat a chuck. <laughs> You're outside. You have no idea this is happening. Uh, oh, that's a that's a nine for me because eleven plus, uh, minus two. Oh, <laughs> I rolled worse. Oh my gosh, <laughs> an eight, <laughs> and I got a four initiative. <laughs> Clearly, oh, right. you will need the tabaxi for this. <laughs> okay, so that's a. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have all my things handy dandy right here. Oh, God, my initiatives are going to be crap. Um, <coughs> all right, uh, uh, Mortley, what was yours again? Mortley? Mortley. Uh, that was nine, sorry. Okay. That's not the name yet. <laughs> well, just say, so Casey, what is your, oh, no, you're stupid slow, so I'm going to Yeah, my initiative is negative two normally. Yeah, see, I actually like the thing of ordering things by uh, uh, your initiative modifiers. Gabriel, what's yours? Uh, four. It's my initiative oh, okay. uh, modifier, but I rolled an eight, so I, I'm behind Morley. <laughs> oh, you rolled an eight? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you're an eight. Uh, Jody? Seventeen. Oh, very good. Hey, someone's on the ball. And Wait till you see what I do with my action. <laughs> I, I kind of expected that line from uh, Frank, actually. <laughs> yeah, Frank, well, go to roll initiative, Frank, but you're outside. So what's Nine. your initiative? Nine? 
<laughs> nine is very crowded. What's your, what's your, all right, so you must have I, a. I got plus two to initiative. I rolled a seven. All right, I'll put you there. Uh, let's see, you're human. I am licking myself outside. <laughs> count. All right, Jody. Yes. So you're standing, where the hell were you? You're out, oh, you're in the middle. Oh. You notice one of the suits of armor and both skeletons are starting to clank, 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 clank. What would you like to do? Well, then. Do hey, don't worry, guys. The violin is set. <clears throat> Tonight's going to be no problem. Is that your action? I delicately put the pillowcase over the dead goblin. Make sure he is nice and toasty water. Right. That is <laughs> That's your action? Well, of course. Okay. Uh, Wait for my bonus action. I give you, you my little kiss as I tuck him in. Oh. Right. <laughs> in undeath, I hope you. Oh, oh, is that cat piece? Oh, shit. Okay, Suit of that's... armor. Since you're done, Suit of armor Suit of comes over and tries to hit you. Uh, let's see. That's Where... rude. <laughs> Sounds like clanking. Clank, 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 clank. It's going to get two attacks. Against who? You. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying closest attention. Thing to, you are the closest thing to it. It was the cat piss. It throws you off. It is it my scent. Does. I have a quasi map going on here, so. It is very spicy and pungent. Diet. Woman? It's diet. Seven is going to miss you, but I'm. Turmeric. <laughs> Uh, a 21, uh, sorry, a 20 hit you? Uh, yes, that will hit on the thought. Okay. Ooh, that's right. So you're going to take uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Uh, Humanus, you're outside. What are you doing? I hear sound. I will use my cat-like reflexes to run down the stairs. But okay. good as my dangling testicles do not strike these solid stone steps. Uh, make a dexterity check to make sure. A dex what? A dex. Just make a dex check. If you're rolling uh, one, I'm going to. 11. Okay, now that's not a one. You don't. See, if you rolled a one, you were going to trip over your balls and fall flat in your face. They are quite but expensive. <laughs> All right, so this is what you see. You see one suit of armor has animated and is beating on Jody. You see two skeletons at the back of the room kind of, you know, starting to wake up. I'll throw a hand axe at one of the skeletons. All right. Uh, Eleven. Really switch to that page. I have all of it right here. Oh my gosh, that misses. I tried. All right, I go so back to licking myself. <laughs> yeah, let me. How many hit points do these guys have? Oh, they have. Okay. They have like 12. 13. Close enough. I'm just using the stats on the thing. All right, so that was Humanus. Do you have a bonus section or is that it? Uh, I ran down already, so I'm gonna oh, I'm just okay. going to that stop and lick myself. Sure. Uh, all right. So then the skellies wake up. Oh, let's see who we got. All right. So one of the you're skellies welcome, guys. <laughs> one of the skellies will walk over to Gabriel. And how many text? Oh, shoot, I just dropped a die. <laughs> uh, got That's a fumble, it. automatic fumble. They lose their turn. Yeah. No, don't work like that. You know they hit that. each other, kill each other. We move on. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty sure they so they get one attack. God, I can't hold my friggin' dice tonight. All right, so one's gonna try to hit Gabriel. 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 Why do I call that? Uh, Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel, it's Gabriel. Good <laughs> roll. That is. Does a 13 hit you? Uh, no, it does not. I wouldn't think so. Okay, and I believe they only get one attack. So. The other one, which is right by Mortley, <coughs> Mortley, it's going to basically go Kah! with this. It pales out a short sword and rolls really shitty. That's not even a 10. 
So they whiff, 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 whiff. Mortley. It probably and... doesn't. It, it probably don't move. It probably actually hits me. Just doesn't get through the armor because I don't dodge. <laughs> cha right. Like a slow poke. I react after it hits me, like a, a couple seconds. <laughs> 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 All right, Mortley, it's your turn. Uh, I will draw my warhammer, and I will uh, smack it. All right, roll the hit, smack it. That will be a 17 to smack it. I drew it too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That, that hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. And this but is a 10 bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage. It's a bludgeoning. See, here's the interesting I th- thing I found out about skeletons by doing this thing. It's not that they have damage resistance, it's they have vulnerabilities. Frank, <laughs> what'd you roll for damage? 10. 10. So and if I take it and they're vulnerable, so that will basically break that skeleton. You shatter it into little pieces. You have a movement, a bonus. Anything other actions? I will move over to the armor. <laughs> We've seen a zillion skeletons, Frank. And I will like walk over and say, like, that is just blasphemy. Armor should not be moving on its own. <laughs> and right, that'll be my turn. They go into the suit of armor. Okay. Uh, last but not least, Gabriel. Uh, so we <laughs> have one skeleton down, thanks to Mortley, correct? And one is on you. Okay. I distracted uh, it. <laughs> of course no, you did. No, no, I didn't. He didn't even <laughs> hit it. So. Oh. Okay. I'm going to make a weapon attack. Uh, I'm going to uh, strike at it with uh, the hand axe first. Uh does <laughs> I guess a nine misses? A nine will miss. Okay, and offhand attack with the short sword. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> eleven. It goes to eleven. It, unfortunately, not quite. You actually, you it's not quite bouncing off their thing. But yeah, you try to go. I, and it kind of dodges. Out I'm of shaking way. off the effects of the pumpkin colada. <laughs> These are actually fairly dexterous, so yeah, it, it you you go to hit it and it ducks. So Ooh. that would be the that would Wily be the little things. Jody, what do you do? You've got a armor, you got a suit of walking suit of armor in your face that just beat on you. I push him. Okay. Yeah, I'm right behind it, so it can just go right over me because I'm short. That's the Talk to your knees. <laughs> so what is that? Um, athletics or acrobatics uh, contested against my athletics. All right. So I will Maybe it's it. animal handling. I don't have the, that on these lists. I'm going to do the helm go. and there's a cat. Ah! We'll go by. We'll go what? with deck. Oh, oh. Twist of the campaign. It's all oh, tabaxi. No. So what'd you roll? Because I, I, I rolled a nat 20. Yeah, what? Then why did you ask what I rolled? You go to shove it and it ducks and you kind of uh, like that. All you right. go into the armholes. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right through the rib cage. Yeah, it like puts its arms out and locks your hands there. <laughs> you find it's really hard to shove something that's nothing but a bunch of, you know, bones with lots of holes in between. Uh, bonus well, it was a giant suit of Justify. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's an armor. Sorry, I got my skeletons and armors. Kaboot. No, it's basically, it's just tough. Uh, let me check that. I rolled an at 20, so I still beat you no matter what. Uh, yeah, it would have been. Supposed to shove that in your face. It would have been strength, so it would have been a 22. So basically, it just stands there. You shove it, and it just. Boom. Says she'll use dexterity, and then she changes her mind at the last instant. I get it. Okay. Actually, it's the same exact number. Uh-huh. Okay. Just flavor. The flavor is different, just, but the. Uh, Sure. Some no, lazy d- writing right there. It's sweet or, no. by the way, sweet or spicy, not both. By the way, it really doesn't matter because it still beat you with a nat 20. Where you yeah, your- so, fuck you. What are you going to do? You're doing anything else? You have a bonus and a move. Huh? No, You're, good. Good. You're good? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, yeah, it's going to try to hit you because it's sort of offended by that. With two attacks, so those are crappy attacks. So let's see. Yeah, I have to have a twenty-one to hit you, huh? 
No, no they're not going to be 21. <laughs> 20. Old. Oh, 20. It doesn't matter. They're still not going to be because that's a 13 and a 12. Oh, you are so tough. I can't shove you, but you can't hit me. We're going to be here forever. Great. No, <laughs> better mind you, it already did hit you. So, um, <clears throat> Humanus, it's your turn. I didn't notice it was a wimpy hit. How tall is the uh, ceiling? Uh, probably like 20 feet. It's a pretty good <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm going to run off the wall and do the showtime slash with my great axe and try and bury it as I attempt to teabag Jody as I run by. What would you like me to do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you attacking? You're attacking the armor? The armor. Because okay. I help friends. Make an acrobatics check to do all that other shit. Uh, twelve plus two is fourteen. I would say you don't get the tea bag off, but you can get into position. <laughs> tea bag oh, off. You get tea bag something that's going to be difficult. Uh, that's a fourteen plus four eighteen. You hit. Uh, yes, you hit. <laughs> you hit like exactly. Uh, that is a ten plus. Two, 12 hit points of damage. Let me just check. All right, so what do you do? Well, Slash. Slashing, it doesn't matter if that works. So 12. As I get him with a backhand since the teabag failed on Jody. All right, do you have any other any, uh, bonus action? No, that's it. I land in cat-like precision. Wah! Okay, so the skeleton, the one remaining skeleton that's on... Gabriel is going to try to hit him. Uh, Sorry, you're on I'm your own. Try to do the Matrix. Kind of thing. always suck, man. That's a terrible roll, too. Uh, I'm going to guess uh, an 11 is going to miss you. Yes. So it was trying to beat you with its sword. Okay, uh, that's just suck. Doesn't have any other actions. Uh, Mortley. I will try to smack it with my Warhammer. All right. Come on, Mortley. It's hammer time. <laughs> Not with a nat one. Not oh, with a nat one. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna. Re- I think that just ends up ringing uh, uh, hum- uh, Humanus's bells. <laughs> uh, we- I wish Mr. Jam- so we have a rule on this show. Oh, I want. No, we're gonna do this. Roll. Uh, uh, let's see. Roll a d6. One, two, roll all, please, because one, two will be Humanus, three, four will be Jody, and five, six will be you. Six. Damn it, you hit me yourself. You're supposed to hit him. <laughs> I have cat like reflexes. You don't say who the numbers oh. are. You want them to hit someone. I think so. I'm going gu- right. to guess the. I, I go with the hammer, and the hammer just bounces right off the armor, smacks yeah, myself in the head. <laughs> ah! Yeah, hit the arm and hit you in that. So take roll your damage and take half. Yeah. Half the oh, eight. that's so One nice. through eleven is Frank. <laughs> that's fair. I just oh, dang it. I'm going to uh, just uh, if I move back, it's going to you know what? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not thinking about it. I'm just going to move out of uh, range of it. Oh, I call head. out. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mortley. So I'm going to move away from it after that fiasco. You move away from it so I get an attack of opportunity against you? you Naturally, against you, I roll well. What the friggin' hell? That is... You're a real dick, Frank. Oh, sorry, (laughs) DJ. (laughs) Uh, 21 hits. Yeah. For a slam attack, he's slam dancing with you. Uh, and that's six points of damage. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Ow. Sorry, Do so you need to help, my friend? <clears throat> All right, uh, Gabriel, it's your turn. Okay. Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> with the skeleton. <laughs> with just call my... him Gabe. Yeah, just call me Gabe. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, I said it right that time. Yeah, that was close enough. Gabriel. Um, I am going to uh, take my bonus action first and uh, cast Slayer's Prey. And what that does is give me an extra D6 uh, in damage 
uh, against uh, my favorite enemy. So, right. uh, let's see. So, <laughs> oh, that's a sweet so, ability. I so, have so I'm gonna make the the first attack with the hand axe. Okay. And yeah, I rolled a little better this time. Nineteen. That hits. Okay, and that hits him for <laughs> a whopping five. Then the <laughs> offhand attack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 24 on that. That, hits. that go roll damage. Okay. Uh, with that, that is an additional nine, and then I got to roll a d6. Guess what? After the first nine, it just crumbles. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have a move? Uh, bonus? yes. Uh, well, I've already taken my bonus action, so. All right. So. Uh, so yeah, I just stand at the ready. <laughs> okay. Well, you could said you can move if you want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I move over to Mortley to make sure he's okay. <laughs> uh, he Mortley's fine. He just got. He's just kind of like, oh, crap, my head. <laughs> you guys can all get around the skeleton. No, I'm not doing the flanking ridiculousness. Uh, no, we don't do that in Murder Hobo. Advantage, anyway. advantage, 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 advantage. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> All right, so that was Gabe. All right, back to the top. That would be Jody. Hi. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? And if you friggin' are trying to sabotage the game to going along, I will skip you. I push skeleton over. All right, baby. Push armor over. <laughs> oh, but he's cocked. I was going to say, the skeletons are gone, right? Not yeah. skeletons. This is a suit of armor. Right. Yep. 24. That time you do it because I only rolled, I rolled an 18. Yes. Yeah. Fuck you. I mean, fuck your armor. <laughs> and I just knock it prone on the ground so it goes <laughs> Well, it doesn't break apart, but it falls, it falls to the ground. Well, yeah, but it makes a cool sound, I imagine. Oh, it does make a cool sound. Do you have any other actions? I it step is... on him? Uh, you can. I step on him. Okay. Um, all right. That's fine. I mean, he's prone anyway, so. All right. So he's make a, because it's his turn, and he's going to try to get up. Go and make another. I'll make strength. 25. Oh, fuck. You, you got him down there. So that's it. That's, that's his action. Advantage on it. You get a, yeah, uh, yep, it's your turn and you get advantage because it's prone and you're double making. Double ones, double ones, double ones. <laughs> 18 <laughs> and a 12. Uh, so 22. That, that hits. <coughs> uh, shitty roll this time. Five plus four is nine. Okay. He's flailing around. I, I, I'm sorry. Five plus two is seven, not nine. Ew. Okay. So that's that many left. Okay. Uh, any other actions, or is that it? I teabag where the head would be. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when the visor clamps. Oh, Mr. Bill! <laughs> that's too hard to do because he's standing on his, basically standing on his chest. So you right, don't I went for the him, head. <laughs> teabag him. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so that's Humana, Skeleton, Dead, Mortley. Uh, I will move back over now that it's prone and uh, just lay into it with the hammer. Go ahead. Please don't roll another one. Oh, I have advantage, which is good because that was the first one was a that's three. <laughs> Second one's a 24, so 19 on the die, so that's good. Okay. Uh, so yeah. damage will be six bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right, so he's he's still there. He's not quite down yet, uh, but you guys are getting him. Oh, uh, you was... know what? I'm gonna just because you know what? Nah, I won't do that right now. It's great. I'm good. All right, I'm Gabe. Good. Uh, Gabe. yeah, uh, the the armor is prone prone on the ground. Oh, Mortley crap. struck it, and yeah. Uh, okay, so it's it's still active. It's just prone. So yes. Okay. It's uh, I'm gonna walk up to it with the hand crossbow. And, Don't hit my uh, balls. Shoot it. Now yes. <laughs> you have to roll now because you're rolling a ranged attack. 
uh, a crossbow expert. Uh, it uh, it ignores that? that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So kind of a reason why I took it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to uh, make a hand crossbow attack on it. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Roll. You're going to roll pretty good, though. I hope so. If not, it's bad. Ooh, 14. That does not hit. Ooh, <laughs> what does it hit? <laughs> Watch the balls. I actually <laughs> mentioned it earlier, what it actually took to hit. Uh, that's your turn, right? Yeah, that's my turn. Her turn. Uh, I'm standing on it. What do you want to do? I, Jody is a pacifist. I tell the armor, please stop fighting. You are only going to be broken into little pieces. You are beautiful armor. Look at that engraving. It's beautiful. Please stop fighting. Does Jody have a wisdom? <laughs> it is very low, as is his intelligence. Oh, man. You are all must be all charisma. All right. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't. So you don't. All right. So you don't. You talk to him this round. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to assume that's your actions. All right. It's going to try to go ahead and uh, see if you can keep holding him down. That is 18 this time. Jesus. I can't roll for shit. All right. He tried to get up, but that failed. I should have just had him in punch your feet. <laughs> uh, just just twist, the, twist the big toe. <laughs> all right. You man, just go ahead and fit this thing out of its misery. 11 and 14, uh, 14 plus four is 18. That hits, uh, 1d12. That would be right. 10 plus two is 12. I cut it stem to stern. And then I teabag it. <laughs> I was about to say. Well, well, if you, you know, he's still standing on it, so you still can't really get in there to teabag it. And I teabag Jody's foot. <laughs> the armor, the armor, you can do that. The armor just falls apart. Jody kind of goes like this. I, I would like to bag on higher. <laughs> 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 All right, so guys, I'm nuts. I knew this was going to be nothing like what I would expect. No, no, no. <laughs> Frank's character has nuts. They, they're everywhere for everyone. To right, right, right there, right there on him right now. <laughs> <laughs> in the page. Okay, so you guys have I retrieved my hand axe that I threw earlier. Oh, that's true. Uh, any th you found a piece of cloth. I'll just cut to it. Uh, if you investigate further, you don't really find anything else. Um, you can tell, to said, the violin I mean, it's very, it's fairly old. This this whole you know, the, the whole thing was fairly old. You didn't ask actually ask her how old but uh, you can tell there's like a line where you can see where the violin has been resting in the dust. And it wasn't the back room at that table that uh, the cloth was fine. Um, all right. We see uh, footprints uh, leading in since it was dusty to where the violin was. There's a dwarf, <laughs> there's a goliath, the human, and a tabax there. <laughs> so... Uh, go ahead and, make and a priest. Survival. <laughs> oh, oh, Mortley, do you have survival? Uh, I do. Not trained, but I do. Roll survival check. Eh, ten. Eh. Yeah, there's too many footprints, so you really can't tell at this point. You should be uh, able to tell which one are mine, though. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, no, I can't. It's like, is this is this a tabaxi or is like the goblin? I don't. Just follow the pea stream. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys do next? I guess we have the cloth. Yep. And the cloth looks old. The cloth looks very, it's very old. It's tattered. It looks like it just kind of fell off of the thing it was attached, the cloth that was attached to. It's deep blue. It does not, it is not black, which is what she was wearing. For no apparent reason, I run out of the crypt. For no reason. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Step on his tail. All right. What about the rest of you? Uh, I guess we should head back and uh, ask uh, about this cloth. Yes. Okay. He is still stationed at, right out the the, the uh, keeper. It's still stationed right outside. Oh, man. I can think it's just crypt keeper. 
Yeah, but she's a lot more attractive than the Crypt Keeper. I don't know. She, she sleeps in a coffin. She's not really maintaining herself, probably. Oh, <laughs> oh are we talking like Elvira hot or like... Well, yeah, okay, that's a totally no, different no. story. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm in for Elvira hot. <laughs> uh, any of you got religion? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Her religion check. I, I follow in excess, so I have my religion. <laughs> Nineteen. Uh, you, you Seven, Seventeen. Okay, Jody. Fourteen. Yeah, you all, all three of you, but but Humanus knows. Uh, you know, it's a remnant. And because it's a very, it's an intelligent undead, and it, it's not doesn't seem to be evil. Um, so she actually looks pretty well preserved too. And you can, if you kind of look and see, you know, underneath, it's a very sheer piece of cloth over her face. It's like, um, yeah, it's just a sheer piece of cloth. So you can kind of see through it. And yeah, no, she's, she's pretty attractive. Roll for hotness. She's also <laughs> dead. Hola, <laughs> Kobo Star. <laughs> oh, Sally, she's pretty hot. That is... Uh, what? Uh, 13? 13. Yeah, and, uh, cool. Apparently, I'm traveling with a bunch of uh, necrophiliacs. That's <laughs> right. You know what? If you news. put her next to a fire, she'll be warm. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> All right, guys. So do you show her the clock? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm, doing, I'm trying to cut to it. So she'll look at it and she'll go, oh, ah, interesting. Amy. This looks like this looks like it came from one of the servants of a, the necromancer. Huh. That would kind of make sense. He's the one that started all this. Necromancer. That would have been nice Fuck to tell us shit. immediately. <laughs> Would have been good to know from the start. You did not ask. No one asked me about the tale of what all you, this is about. Do you, you have a pot of about gold? Your, do you have a ring of wishes? <laughs> yeah, you were crying about the fact that all your, your violin was stolen. Well, it's... All right, so the violin was probably stolen by one of his servants. Not by the necromancer himself. The... He's got that, you know, type. He wants to dominate the world and such. Although yes, yes, we see those once a week. I'm familiar. Everybody <laughs> wants to rule the world. At this point, either <laughs> uh, this did happen about 50 years ago when he came through town and he woke up all the dead. He's trying to build an undead army. Isn't that what you do every year? No, that, that is no. true. That, that is that is an accurate portrayal of what you're doing. Are you the necromancer? I'm going to ask. The necromancer! <laughs> no, it's it, this is a ritual. You, ah, oh, jeez. You know, maybe you should have asked me about the story. There's a ritual. We no, we don't need to know. about the, the dance macabre. Two hours. I maybe. don't have enough time to hear the story. And my accent's changing as we go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're suffering from the same thing, I see. <laughs> the more I spend with Mortley, the more I change. He is cursed. <laughs> He's channeling the I ghost of uh, caretaker. <laughs> so so where, where can we find this necromancer and in, 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 in this uh, charade that, oh, this uh, that he's doing? I doubt you'll f it's the violent <clears throat> necromancer. Uh, the necrom I think it's one of his servants. Because I don't the necrophilia. Think, I don't think you could take on the necromancer. Twenty level necromancer, yeah. Oh uh, which uh Where does he uh, live? Well, I don't I all I can sense is that the thing is somewhere to the west, out you know nearby. You're you Glenda, can, aren't you? You can ask the townsfolk. Maybe someone might know something. Uh, well, right. you scared them away when you came out like, who stole violin? Who stole violin? <coughs> How are we supposed to ask them when they're thousands of feet away? Ah, shit. <laughs> Change the accent again at the end. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting difficult. <laughs> she just kind of looks you like, well, you kind of walk up to houses and knock on doors and ask questions. And I, like, I am oh, the fastest. I am going to run and 
I forget what they call it, but knock on doors and run to the next one and knock on more doors. I will. They don't, um, open, they don't open it unless you like actually speak. So I'm not going make to my way over there, but at dwarf speed. Okay, so <sighs> you guys are going to go knock on doors. So here's how I'm going to handle it. I Ding want dong, to itch. Let me see. Let me see what my DCs are. Uh, um. Where's the DCs? Okay, so you need to make a persuasion check to gather information. Uh, go ahead and make persuasion checks. And what this really is, you'll get the information, but this is going to determine how long it takes to get the information. I will uh, uh, channel divinity and give myself a we'll plus with. five to my persuasion check. Okay. I will be casting guidance on myself and... Uh, doing it as well. <laughs> I'm ding-dong ditching with a two. <laughs> okay, we have a two. But, but I'm getting a lot Ooh, done. Okay, so what's your total, Jody? 28. 28. Okay, that'll counteract the two. Uh, Gabriel, uh, Gabe. Uh, mine is uh, a 17. That's not bad. And, <laughs> and Mortley? Uh, 19 total. I got a two. You got a two. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, Good thing it wasn't a three. He wouldn't be able to count that high. <laughs> spend about. <clears throat> I'm limited. Uh, you guys spend about two hours wandering around town, uh, trying to find someone, and I'm going with Mr. Two Twenty. Hours. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, they're all locked in doors. You all takes you time to get them to come to the door and talk. Okay. Have you heard the word? Most of them don't really have <laughs> much useful, but they'll play. Do you, by the way, here's a question. Do you guys all, do you guys, are you guys all going together or do you uh, scatter around? Oh, separately. separately. Oh, yeah. Okay. We split the party. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I want, because this will be fun for me. I look for the bordello. All right. So, Humanus, a black cat walks across your path. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Come here, baby. Mm, I'm just going to think what kind of save. Meow. Man. <laughs> yeah. No hair. None. None. Cat just speaks in common. Yes, you're clearly. Hey, friend. <laughs> a wisdom saving throw. Oh, uh, shit. Ten. So that failed. So for the next four hours, you gain bad luck. So you Do I get this is luck the at all? <laughs> no. The cat just looks at it like, fuck you, and I finish anyway. You bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you got a disadvantage for the entire rest of well, depends. Uh, you do have you got you have three days to do this, uh, so but it takes two hours. So I figure it's about all right, it's about eight o'clock at night. Hey oh, guys, about I six o'clock at night. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it, but hey. Hey, they'll believe uh, me. I totally right. made it. Made that cat my bitch. So, uh, question: uh, yeah. Is this has this dance macabre? Has it? Been it, it's just like undead Mardi Gras. I mean, it is like undead Mardi. Well, you didn't you didn't ask the keeper for the story, so <laughs> okay. I wanted to, but you we had Tabaxi kind of interrupting stuff. So, well, you could have said shut up, Tabaxi, and asked her anyways. I will try to tell the story. I'm at the sorry, end. we try not to talk over people here at Murder Hobo. Inc. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, no, you weren't. Um, keep dreaming. Uh, so anyway, about two hours later, you do get someone who will, who basically will say, you know, <clears throat> there is a spot that is abandoned that's to the west of town. It's the old Bartley farm. It's been abandoned for oh, at least 50 years. But it's a really well-made building, so it's still standing. But it's boarded up, and and no one's lived there said for for like fifty years. Is Heath Barkley there? Bartley, not Barkley. B a r t l e y. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Guys, about, I totally got laid. 
<laughs> he didn't get laid, but whatever. He laid himself. I don't know if that... I'm sure that's definition of getting laid. That counts. <laughs> I'm sure there's a cat of nine tails. <sighs> there's all. Uh, all right. So anyways, so what do you guys want to do now? Well, it's the only lead we had, so we should probably go check that one. Today's we should go fix now. Okay, no. it's, a, it's eight o'clock at night. Is, is dark after nightfall. Now, what it's you fine. do see as you're progressing along, you'll see like spirits and stuff flitting about at a distance. Nothing seems to really come up and attack you. So, and you make your way out. You'll take you'll take the directions and you make your way out uh, to the farm and go to the page with the farm on it. Hey, did I tell you guys I got laid? No, you failed to mention that. Yeah, I did. Good job. Totally. 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 That'd be funny. <coughs> so you guys go to, you, you follow the directions and you find the farm. It is yes. a building which has seen much better days. The It's at night, so you really can't tell what color it was. So basically, you I mean, even with dark vision, you see like in black and whites and such. You don't see colors. Um, I don't see colors, Carol. That's you with tabaxi. <laughs> I see, I see all sorts she of colors. She sees fur oh, and no oh, fur. Beautiful. Oh, they're all beautiful. So that's the way I love colors. Uh, you see the, the windows are all boarded up. Um, it's a Trump property. The only way you could tell, there were shutters probably once upon a time. There's like two left that are crazy angles and one's like on the front <laughs> of the, the top floor and one's on like the side of the house towards you. Uh, let's see. Um, the grass oh. very overgrown mm. and the building has accumulated, uh, accumulated a collection of moss and other lichen growing on the sunless well towards the left side of the building it's you can see at the corner there's like you know there's plant there's uh, vegetation growing up there the shingles on the roof also very faded and more than one are missing or hanging at crazy angles should have gone with a metal roof. It's a hey, it's the <laughs> no. He <laughs> just gets completely sunburned, anyways. True. All right. So you guys are there at the edge of the property. What would you like to do? I am heading in. Uh, there is no stealth when it comes to me, so I that, claim, I yeah, claim, I, yeah, I yeah, claim. pretty much. I'm at negative two with disadvantage normally, so I just go straight in. It's like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> clang, 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 you, clang. Open up the fence, fence uh, falls down, don't care. I will ask why we're here because I'm still a little bit uh, lightheaded because I just got laid in case I didn't mention that yet. We're here because we were told to come yet, right? Now shut up, get in there, hit things. And I don't know, uh, you know, sit on it, whatever. I'll pull my axe out and follow the brave dwarf. All right, the rest of you losers. <laughs> What are you doing? We're following. Okay. So you all I'll go sneak up. in through a window. <laughs> hey, I so saw some window? movement in the window. Let's kill it. <laughs> so windows are all boarded up. They there are no it's like they've got boards in front of them, so you can't just look in the window. Pull one off and then climb in. Make a strength check. I am so gonna deal uh, get stuck. 21. Okay, that will do it. They tried to do that, Mike, and they rolled like a one. Uh, I do have a question. Um, yeah. So obviously, there's a front door. Was there's there an a... obvious back door? Uh, oh, not from where you're up. standing. <laughs> <laughs> I think he found it. <laughs> nice one, DJ. Nice one. So, uh, not from this side. The back door would be on the back. Okay. Uh. Yes, sir. Is there <laughs> is there like a cellar entrance or anything? Like you know uh, the store, like the oh, cellar doors bulkhead? or anything? You don't see any from there. You don't see right. a bulkhead. But did, so we didn't see like a back door coming up to it or anything, right? No, because it's at the back of the house. If there is one, I only look for the front door. More. All right. So <laughs> I'll just walk around and see if there's any back door uh, or you know. Looking for some backdoor action. <laughs> I follow just in case there is backdoor action. Oh, if there was a backdoor, I didn't actually really put one 
on in. So there's no back door. Gotcha. Wow. No, back door. There's a back door, but it's been boarded up. Step aside. I've got this. Go, go right ahead. Oh, no, wait, wait. Jody, you did pull the board off the window. Yes. There's jagged glass behind it. Well, that's not good. I pulled the next board off. Okay, uh, make a check. The wood is kind of spongy and soft, though. Oh, that's nine. That's, you go, uh, I mean, it's well nailed in, so you do not get the board off. It got nailed hard, Jordy. But Jordy. just to make it, just to, just to expedite this a little bit, um, you can tell, I mean, the glass is going to be broken throughout it. You know, it's, it's old. It's a 50-year-old building. The glass is, is fucked up, so... Mortley, I hear breaking glass. I alert him. Um, you know, at this point, I'm just going to go to the front door. Uh, okay. Since the other one's... I don't know. I think we we'll support ourselves in the back way. I go <laughs> in the front door. <laughs> All right. So I drag my ass. I just kick it, I just kick it open. Him. You kick it open? Okay, I mean, yeah. this has been all sorts of sounds, so don't, you have to worry. <laughs> yeah. We've, yeah, we've already been making a racket. When, when, when Jody ripped the board off, I mean, it was like crack, you know, it was this huge loud crack. So, all right, you kick the door in, and what you that see. That reminds me of what happened an hour earlier. A lot of crack. You got kicked. <laughs> Probably got scratched. Maybe that's it. The black cat actually scratched him, and that's, he's got cat scratch fever. Right. Uh, I should have so, named my character Ted. So, so <laughs> the inside, there's the place has been emptied out. There's no furnishings uh, of any kind. You might occasionally see a mouse or a rat skittering about. What? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm laser focused at this point in time. Make a perception check. 19 on the roll. <laughs> I fucking see everything. Hey, hey, DJ, feel free to murder him. You know how we feel about, you know, killing mice and rats, right? That's right. Uh, <laughs> disease control? Uh, if I see a fucking rat or a mouse, I am in. Honestly, it's a fan. I was going to say, if you eat it, that just gets you the disease. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. All right, so <laughs> you, you, see, you, see a, you see a mouse go skittering across the floor. Go in. I use my cat-like reflexes to ch fucking charge. I'm going to kill this thing. Yes, he finds the trap. <laughs> you, you kill this thing. I mean, I'm just... It's, I'm not rolling initiative. It's a friggin' mouse. <laughs> All right, the rest of you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to look around uh, in not the room he's in. <laughs> okay, there's nothing... All right, so there's nothing in this room? Oh, by the way... Is he drunk? Wait, wait, is he... Is, is oh, I'm getting hammer drunk. drunk. <laughs> That, that explains a lot. Okay. So I also want to point out the fact it is a two-story farmhouse. I should have pointed out when you guys are at the front, but I did I not. I just want the mouse. Does it look like there's a basement to this one, or is it just the main floor and the top floor? Uh, I, you know, I'm going to say this for the sake of time that there is no basement anymore. That's fine. <laughs> anymore. The basement has magically disappeared. <laughs> Was a week ago when we had more than two hours, and I could throw shit at that. Oh my like, god, there's no more base. There's a door that just leads nowhere. Boy, Murder Hollow Hol Inc. has to condense, yeah. and that really screws no. up. No, <laughs> it's, unless you're I, Kyle. All right, I'm gonna, hours. I'm gonna assume it's upstairs. So let's just go ahead upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> I will follow behind. I'm staying behind, guarding my prize. Yell if you need anything. All right, uh, Gabe. Uh, I'm I'm following Mortley. Remember that this. mouse could be a polymorph like uh, Red Dragon. Just by the way. <laughs> Did you see the mouse? I'm toying with it. I am a cat. It's dead. It's not much to toy with there. All right. So you come up to you come up the stairs, and at the top of the stairs, you see. You see, our, you see two doors to your right and one to your left. What do left, you do? Left. Yeah, and rule of thumb. Left, always left go is left. right. Yeah, left is right. Right is wrong. I go right. You go, you go to the one door <laughs> on the left. Yes. Okay. 
What do you do at the door? And who's leading? I guess it's me. Okay. <laughs> I pee on the mouse. Um, since I have no ability to really investigate or <laughs> check for traps, uh, I will open the door. Okay, you open the door. And inside you see you see an empty what was a bedroom with a uh, mantel place and a fi uh, fireplace with no fire uh, on the uh, opposite wall about 30, <coughs> uh, about 40 feet away. So you're going to distinguish that there. <coughs> so yeah, and you see you see this 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 skeletal undead definitely undead looking thing at the back of the room and in front of him are two zombies. I'll I just, just yell out, found it! <laughs> so I'm just going, I'm just throwing that right there. But I'm not telling you what the boss is. I just go, found it! Yeah, oh, make a perception check. Okay. Yeah, okay. go make a perception check. Okay, okay. Yep. Eh, 12. Yeah, you don't see it. Uh, 17. Uh, you're not at the front of the door. So oh, okay. I only perceive Mortley. <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, you're perceiving. yeah, you can't perceive this. I yeah. am. I am kind of like a square in reality. <laughs> I'm like a four foot three square. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I mean, you can see it, but I'm gonna say you're not at the right angle really to sure. see it. Sure. All right, but you do see it. So go ahead and roll initiatives, everybody. Oh Let's my great god, what a terrible initiative. Oh, that's an initiative of three. That's about right. Ooh, that's what I really? expect. What's Wait for that negative initiative. I have initiative of that. Uh, this. I know, so, but I, I can hear shit. Uh, you haven't heard shit yet. Tongue in the mouth. So you, you have not heard shit yet, so you are still downstairs. I did yell downstairs. He yelled, found it. Yeah. Oh, Twice. that's... Okay, so but I do not care. Mortley, you're a three, you said? Uh, Mortley got a three, yes. Okay. Sorry, Mortley. I, I, have an, I have a negative two initiative. I'm not surprised by this. <laughs> Fucking rolls are terrible. I, my my rolls were great, rolls but I had to. I, there was one bad stat, so it, it went into depths. <laughs> I had two 18s in my stats, so I'm okay with that. Is it yeah, yeah. Uh, Jody, what's your initiative? Uh, 14. And Gabe, what's yours? Six. Holy sh... This is like the... <laughs> man. Uh, uh, you do realize it's green? That's that's actually diseased. <laughs> Alright, so Good for it, it was Jody. Uh, should I bother Humanus? What's your friggin' initiative? He's what muted. was that? He's muted and he said four. You're <laughs> muted? I have this. See? She's not paying attention. It is you're delicious. Ah. Ah. what your freak bonus is. <laughs> That's what she said, right? <laughs> so, Jody, you are first. This is the most sad initiative I have ever seen. <laughs> I mean, more I'm games. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not kidding. This is one thing has above a 10. So, it's fine. I've Maybe. seen worse. Okay, so, Jody, what, is, what would you like to do? I've been rolling this. Is there a light in the room anywhere? <laughs> no. Nope. It's pretty dark in here. I can't see shit yet. Nope. Yeah. So, what are you doing? I don't know. I can't see nothing. I light the torch. I don't know. Right. Okay, you can light a torch. That's fine with me. Okay. And if you, you you can which which order are you in? I know Mortley's at the front. You in the middle? Well, I was about to open the door to the right. Okay, so do you want to open the door to the right? No, I light the torch because I can't cheat. Okay. <laughs> no, that's right. Opening a door is a full action. All right, so that's your go. That's C or something else. Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, it's your Gabe, it's your turn. Okay. I don't like the seat in dark. I don't have uh, dark vision, and I can't see past Mortley. <laughs> All right. Uh, so are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Uh, uh, did I? Don't make me get uh, one of our rats. 
can I, I roll perception? Did I hear something? Did I hear it say well, something? Well, you know what we said. I right, found, found it. Okay. So I know there's something in that room. Okay. It's probably the violin. Just walk in. Yeah, just walk in and get it. <laughs> <laughs> it does. sitting there. Walk in and get it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, it, Mortley, are you already in the room? He's no, I don't think I had a chance. I was at the threshold. The threshold of the door. Oh, okay. All right. I'll um, <laughs> I'll I'll uh, I'll hold my action uh with the the crossbow uh until something <coughs> attacks. So I'll use my reaction, I guess, for the bonus action. I guess. All right. Hmm, what do I want to do? That why that changes things when nobody can move in the freaking room. <laughs> We're all bottlenecked. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, right. I am I am kind I am kind of a cork. <laughs> hmm. I will I will get one of my actual pet rats. Wait, are you really? Uh well, after my turn, maybe. <laughs> Uh, you know what? For now, nothing happens. Everyone's at like a freaking it's like. Do they a, just stand there? Yeah, it's a Mexican standoff. <laughs> whoa! 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 Hey! Whoa. Hey, hey! Hey! I'm pretty well, sure he managed his Mexican. The border. We did not mean to offend. Jesus! <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. How far? What's the range in that spell? It's a Hollywood industry time. So. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm gonna. Th- Roll to okay. So the big the the skeletal guy behind the two zombies is going to uh, uh, he's going to do an action. He's sending a bolt of uh, nastiness. Oh no, way, he's gonna fucking miss. Eat a chuck. <laughs> so over your over it goes right over Mortley's head. Yeah, everyone always aims like you know you're a six foot two hero. Yeah, apparently. Do I hear this? Forgets. <laughs> no. That Damn wasn't it. Any noise, make enough noise for you to hear downstairs. Uh, it would be your turn. I uh, need you to play with my mouse. Okay. Ooh. You, you, if you I don't hear anything, I, I don't hey, know. Hey, you managed. You did, you did hear Mortley <laughs> say, I found it. I spring into action, eat up Chuck, and gain my erection and run up the stairs. Oh, All Lord. Right. So you Watch see, out for that hard left. <laughs> You see them all. You Thanks see for them. noticing. Okay. So you see them at the door to the left. I think Jody was looking at a door, one of the doors to the right. On the left, one? even oh. right. I will help my friend Jody. <laughs> okay, so Jody, by the way, so the, the left the left door would be t- yeah, I guess it's down towards it's down towards the stairway. So the right, solo one car is like right across the hall, and the other one is up further. Which one were you at? You had a move. The first right door. The first right. So you're basically right across from, you're basically right behind Mortley. Oh, that good. Is My guy. fire light should go into the room a little bit. So you, you'd have to basically go by everyone to see, to, so to see the door. Door's not open yet. All right. So that's I'm here. Your, um. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, you are. Mortley, it is your turn. Uh, I actually have to look up turning undead, so I'm going to step in the room, get about 20 feet close to them. Okay. And then I will turn undead. I have to actually look this up, though. Yeah, you're going to have to, and you're going to have to tell me what to do, because it's not something I see yeah, very yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. He immediately There's slays a... all the undead in this room, and we can... It could, if it was powerful no, enough. I don't believe they're not at third I level. <laughs> but the other one is... Channel Divinity. All right. Turning oh, Undead. As an action, I present my holy symbol. So I will pull out my uh, holy symbol of Paylor and announce, <coughs> Back! Fiendish undead things crawling about. May the sun shine deep into your eyeballs and burn out whatever evil and best ye. Um... I'm like, yeah, what he said. Uh, each undead dead that uh, I can see or hear that can see or hear me within 30 feet of me must make a wisdom saving throw. 
If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. A turn creature must spend its turn oh. trying to move as far away as, from you as it can. And it can't willingly you know move to you, a what? space within 30 feet of you. It cannot take reactions. For its action, it can only take the dash, dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action instead. What was ah, the D Suck it. Um, my DC is 14. Yes, 14. Well, the two zombies go into the other corner, but the big guy does not. That's fine. I, at least I took care of the zombies. And I will yell out, uh, uh, I will yell out to the others, uh, don't attack the zombies! I've got them pinned down! And then I, for my bonus action, I will summon a giant um, sun ball. It looks like a fun ball. Uh, 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 oh, you know, like a like a like it's like a giant super ball, no, but it's lit up like a sun, and that's my spiritual weapon. Mess. And it's gonna go smack uh, smack the big guy in the in the head, like a super fun ball hitting him in the face. All right, so this is just so this is <laughs> it's not like actually sunlight, or is it? No, like no, no, it's not sunlight. It's just it, it's it just kind of has that look. It's your okay. spiritual weapon. Yes, it is my uh, spiritual so, weapon. So a giant. Yeah. Thank yellow you, fun ball. Doesn't matter. That looks like a uh, happy roll. sun. Did somebody I call me? <laughs> All right. So my roll is oh, a nat twenty. Nat twenty for twenty six. Okay. Roll, roll, double your damage. Oh my god, that's gonna be. I'm gonna hate you, Ryan. Forty eight plus eight. What? Holy shit! Oh hey, hey, hey I, I, I just got no, DM, wait, no, wait, wait. Do you hear that, Do you hear that DM? Oh, no, no, I think it's just, no, it already, uh, no, it, I think it already doubled it. What yeah, no, I... it just already doubled it. No, no, it is 48 It's like too eight. much damage for free. It should not be plus eight. It should just be plus your wisdom modifier. Okay, yeah, no, it actually, no, so I was using D&D Beyond. It's actually just doubling it on its own. Interesting. Oh, okay, so what's the damage? Do it, do it. 111. Shut up. There we go. Okay, not, not bad. 12. Okay, that's a lot better. I was like, holy crap! It's no, I guess uh, when it automatically rolls a 20 off of it, it uh, starts doubling the, or it uh, increases the damage on it. That's cool. Power of Christ. Okay, so you. not vulnerable to it. So you said 12? Yep, so giant fun ball with a happy, smiley face on it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, how many hit points do those have? Okay, those have that many. Because I need to trick that down. All right, good fucking turn, man. That's my turn. So that was a... Oh, that's right. That's a bonus. All right. Yes, uh, God. All right. Um, well, the two zombies now sit in freaking cornering. They can make a save, right? Uh, and I don't think... It didn't say anything about that. I don't think so. I, 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 as long as they don't take any damage, I think they're just... Uh, Okay. Nope. I think uh, it's if a creature it, it is turned for one minute. Yeah, so it's one minute or until damaged. Or until damaged. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's not even concentration based too, though, nope. right? Nope. You can, okay, Jody, it's your turn. I go walking into the room. Not the right room. The left room. So the one that's got the back of you behind Mortley. Yes. Okay, what do you do? I say, excuse um, me, sir. We are looking for a violin. We do not wish to hurt you. Yes, we do. I I know we don't. Y yes. If I keep uh, arguing, I want to switch over to Scottish. <laughs> Damn it. Make a perception check. Now you're in the room. I can't. Do you? Oh, you roll it with the torch so you can see. Uh, eighteen. Uh, that's good enough. You see the violin sitting on the mantle behind the beastie, the skeletal thing. Already? Oh, I will walk behind him then if I have the room. Uh, you don't, because right now he's got two. You you you're gonna go through that. You're gonna take attacks of opportunity. I think. I will take yeah, attacks. They can't power. take no. They can't take reactions. No, not them, but the big guy can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He can do it. I'll take it. I'm I'll take it. And like it. <laughs> now you know what? You're not leaving his threatened square. So no, actually, I'll let that go. So okay. you take it. Thank you. 
Uh, you walk up and pick it up, and that's your act. Uh, wait, what's your move, by the way? 30 feet. You cannot get there in one turn. No. 30 I feet from the door. Lose my action. To the door to the line of zombies. Then he's another like five feet back. Now the zombies are all five feet. So then he moves, like, uses his action to dash. Yes. Okay, so you can, it's 40 feet to the violin. Yes. All right, and as an action, you can pick it up. As an action to pick up a violin? Yep. It is tiny, made of wood. It is also very freaking old and gentle, so you got to be careful with it. Yeah, Use it as that. an improvised weapon. I, I had a feeling somebody was going to do that, actually. No, I mean, you can do it. up! I was going to do it later. <laughs> no, I'll, if, you don't, if you smash the violin, you know Brother. if you smash the violin. She you needs know it. that Taryn's people will all be dead if you do that. <laughs> That's not Taryn's people. Taryn, this is not Does Taryn. not matter. Taryn's people will die. <laughs> uh, I will also cast... <laughs> Sanctuary on myself. Ooh. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. All right, so that is your turn. All right, so that was a, so that's your action. Wait, casting. Move action and bonus action for sanctuary. If you're cast, it's a, sorry. This is like when multiple systems rules. Hey, you, welcome to my world, Carol. How's that feel? Hold <laughs> on. Right, Right. Yeah, I know. Well, no, no, he moved. You, you, Oof, dash. Yep. dash. Bonus action, cast sanctuary. And you don't pick up the violin. Obviously. You said that earlier. Okay. It's a full action to pick up violin. I had to walk 10 more steps. And you'd walk 10 more steps if you had what's, to. Uh, just like Chris, what's the save on the violin? I mean, on the violin. On the. On what the is violin. The save? <laughs> <laughs> Save in you your sanctuary because I'm pretty sure I can roll to beat that if I feel like it. It uh, depends. Uh, thirteen wisdom. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. My throat is getting very, very rough now. Well, you must practice more, friend. All right, Gabe, it's your turn. Okay. See, I'm trying to go Scottish, and you're throwing me off with your accent. Yeah. It makes me keep going like a Russian. Uh, my bonus fun. action triggers and Hunter's Mark marks him. And as my action, I am going to cast, um, uh, la 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 la, what is it? Uh, primeval, uh, no, that isn't it. I'm primeval so awareness. sorry. But no, uh, <coughs> Hunter's Sense, and I'm going to extract its vulnerabilities, um, uh, weaknesses, and uh, any kind of. Uh, immunities that it has or resistances. Does okay. it like long walks on beach? Yeah. I was actually <laughs> looking at the exact build you're uh, you're playing for this. Guys, I was guys. looking at that. All right, so resistances: necrotic, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. Okay. <laughs> damage Happy sun for the wind. Poison. Okay. Uh, it can't be exhausted. It can't be poisoned. Uh, what else did you say you want? I, I think we're going to get fucked um, by this thing. <laughs> <laughs> immunities. Uh, basically, I just asked for want. immunities, <laughs> resistances, and vulnerabilities. What's that? Uh, just immunities, resistances, and uh, vulnerabilities. So, no vulnerabilities. Pretty much undead. Okay. I will throw this there because it's... I will throw this out there. Uh, however, if you've gone during the day and taken off one of the boards in the windows, which is irrelevant because it's night, it would have sunlight sensitivity. We don't want okay. easy mode here, all right? You no mode. <laughs> so that's what you know about. Do you do anything else? Uh, uh, well, that was my action and bonus action. So okay. I've got no other actions. Moved in. Okay, so uh, that was... <laughs> oh, it's its turn. And all of you but Humanus are in the room. Oh, no, wait. Humanus, you in this room too? I haven't gotten to go yet. I went with uh, Jody last yep. time. <laughs> You're about to up. hate my guts, though. Hey, <laughs> first, uh, are you are you in the room? I I'm in the room on the right with Jody before okay. you left. Then all four of you have to make. Uh oh. <laughs> wait wait wait! I I am not in the room with the big bad guy. Yeah no no he was at the door. 
He was at the right door. I'm at the other <laughs> side. Yeah, so you I so you do not. That's why I'm asking. All right, so you guys all have to make of course they don't friggin' put what the save is. Uh so it's what how how do you friggin' figure out saves again? It's eight plus proficiency plus uh casting modifier. Eight yeah, plus proficiency right. plus casting modifier. Modifier, casting modifier would be that. Actually, be that. So yeah, it's eight plus eight plus proficiency at like. Of course, they don't put that in either. So I'm going to say it's. Uh, I think I figured it out. We figured it out last time. It was. I should have wrote down what it was. Uh, all right. Go ahead and make a wisdom save. You guys are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how about let me look up the Ooh, spell. Oh crap! That that would have been good, but that's only a nine. You're a cleric for God's sake! <laughs> I know. Sake. I rolled a three. <laughs> oh man! I that's rolled a what twenty. Burned all my luck. <laughs> I rolled a twenty-three, Carol. You made it, uh, Jody. Would you roll? Thirteen. All right, hang on. I'm gonna go look, at, I look up the spell. You're fucked. Well, I know. <laughs> I know Mortley failed hardcore. Don't worry, Mortley. I've got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't reassure me in any fashion. Me and my new friend have a plan. This gummy rat. <laughs> it's actually a rattle. Oh, okay. I have to look up the spell anyways. Because you're going to all run away. Not I. On the bright side, my spiritual weapon can still attack. <laughs> do you have to concentrate on it? Uh, I do, but this, as far as I know, it doesn't yeah, break concentration. It unless it does. Actually, no, I don't have to concentrate on it. Huzzah! I've got your back. One more spiritual for weapon for the win. For what is the proficiency rating? Is this going to make a difference? What's the proficiency rating at level three? Because they don't two. put this fucking info. Two. You... Two. So, it's eight plus two. Plus Fuck you, Kyle. I want Kyle to fail it so badly, but I'm going to be honest. It's a 13. Uh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm dousing this place in play. <laughs> you have a violin there. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Not it my burns violin. just as well as everything else. It's old. It'll be tinder. Because it's 9.37, and that's close enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was its turn. Uh, so one person failed. That's good. Uh, Humanus, what are you doing? I'm lighting this place. <laughs> I have found nothing in this room that causes me to have any concern whatsoever. All of my friends have abandoned me. I'm feeling neglected. Nobody. Why? Why do you say that? Nobody's left. He's using cat logic. <laughs> Obviously, I'm alone, and this guy <laughs> says, "Light it, light it, Humanus." I follow his instruction. I flint and tinder that shit on the room to the right. I want you. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to roll, make an, make like a basic attack roll. Let's see All your roll. plus four, sixteen. Okay, uh, so if you roll a friggin' that one, you're lighting yourself on fire. It's the way I roll it. I can right. handle that. All the ammonia. <laughs> it's not All like right. he's got a singe hair. <laughs> All right, so exactly. what do you, what do you first what exactly do you light? What's in this room? Nothing but walls, ceilings, and boarded up windows. It is with great sadness that I use you as Tinder. Oh. Okay, you throw it there. This is not a particularly dry climate. So it's also it's, a recently dead mouse. It's, yeah, it's not really burning. Yeah. <laughs> not going to catch a friggin' wall or something without really an accelerant. Carol, this is the same guy who tried to light shit on fire. Bat and shit. Wet I, bat. I stand by my action. <laughs> And you light on fire. What shit? You can't. All right. So that was uh, Mortley. Intelligence hey. eight. I don't care. So Mortley. Oh my God. You get one of our friends. 
is that the bride? <gasps> That's oh, right. <laughs> See, this is why she hates cats. They love rat folk. Kindred spirit right there. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mortley, Aww. so I have to away. run. Yeah, you're going to run because that was a fear. So spell. I just have to leave That's in rad. sight, right? Uh, here it is. You project a phantasmal in it, uh, uh, He basically projects a phantasmal image of your worst nightmare. Each creature is 30 percent naked. <laughs> you must empty, run. Empty run. Uh, ale b uh, barrels everywhere. Mortley. Right. It's right. Mortley, are you holding anything? Uh, yes. I am you holding my warhammer. You drop it. And my holy symbol. You drop, yep, you drop. Oh. Aw. Yeah. That means the turn is no longer in front. All right. You're no longer turning him. Uh, because you dropped the holy symbol. Uh, I don't think that stops that. Well, they're, you're not just turn for a minute. Actually, but you have to run out. I do. That means they, they can, can come closer. Close well, go, yeah, they can't. Yeah, no, they can come closer to me, but they still can't do anything. You have to leave the room, basically. Yes. Um, it's the creature ends its turn location where it doesn't. Yeah, if you end your location where it doesn't have time line of sight anymore, which means basically you go outside of the room. So now mm -hmm. you're like, you only move twenty feet, so you're gonna basically double move outside of the room. Then you can make another wisdom save to try to break the effect. All right. success, so babe. I will first bonus action attack it with my son. I can't. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Go back here. What? what? <laughs> I'm, trying gonna... I'm gonna bonus action okay, attack yeah, it with my yeah, son. Yeah. And bonus first. Attack. Go ahead and roll. Uh, roll. Come here. Uh, yes. One second. Uh, That's. It's a sheet. Oh, I rolled a one. So <laughs> I miss it. I miss it with the son, <laughs> and I run out of the room, and then I stop just past the doorway. Okay, so I'm like, wait, Marley, where are you going? Unfortunately, I would say it's just going to, otherwise I'd have you rolled. Nope, nope. I mean, I know Jody's right there, but Jody is Sanctuary. I'm not going to freaking make you roll to see if you hit yourself or whatever. Uh, that's not going to work. So you, yes, you run out. I believe at the end of your action, at the end of turn, you can make another save now. Okay. Uh, don't fail. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good, good. That's a uh, 24. I'm, uh, I'm no longer afraid. I'm assuming. Okay, you're no longer afraid. Uh, next time you can move what? back in. Hey. All right, well, the zombies, who no longer have this thing in their face, keeping them at bay, are going to step out. Um, I know I have to make a 13 wisdom save to hit. I will do this. Let's see. One's going to try to hit Jody. And we got the other. Oh, you know, nope. I'm going to go out and hit Frank. The other one's going to wander out and hit Frank. There we go. How the fuck does that happen? <laughs> They're no longer being turned, well, per se. I'm in There's a different just... room. Uh, oh, that's right. You're you know, bullshit. She's a racist. Oh, racist. Oh, I, keep, I keep forgetting you're not in the same room. So obviously it's going to be Gabe. Sorry. I so say Gabe, racist. Like, Lycanthropes go after like, it's a you. certain time of month. Undead. I, I want to kill you. But you're a fucking little coward and don't want to coming to this room. I am so trying to save, resolve this by fire. So the save is a third wisdom. I rolled a 19, which is a 17 wisdom, so yes, it can hit Jody. Now try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, if I roll that roll again, it'll hit you. If ifs and nuts were something and buts. <laughs> then we've what? gone through the back door. There you go. So it does. So, so yeah, it misses. All right, and the other one, uh, Gabe. <laughs> I'm gonna assume a uh, twelve is not gonna hit you, Gabe. Won't hit me. Won't hit him. Yeah, won't hit him. All right, all right. So I mean, all right. So that would be the zombies. Jody, it is your turn. I daintily pick up the violin. <laughs> and okay. I walk out of the room. Uh, you're going to take attack of opportunity. I'm going to roll save. Ugh, maybe not. 13, huh? I don't think that's going to make it. You do not walk out of the room. You get about, you get what, 30 feet? Yes. 
You do not walk out of the room. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna he's not gonna make the save on the sanctuary anyways. It's, 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 it's the way away. So wait, wait. It's he cannot attack you, right? It's not like a minus to his hit for sanctuary, right? Uh, no. It's he cannot attack me. This is right. a reaction, right? Uh, yeah. Nope. It's fine. It's good. You can't attack you anyways. Uh, so that is your turn, uh, Gabe. Uh, as an action, I cast protection from evil and good. Uh, okay. So that'll keep me from getting frightened, charmed, or possessed. And uh, it has disadvantage against me. Okay. So, uh, bonus action. Click, click. <laughs> gonna fire. I know he's resistant to piercing, but I'm gonna try anyway. All right. All right. Because uh, I don't think this thing's gonna reason. So um, obviously not, because it just tried to do whatever to Mortley. So, all right, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, 21 to hit. Uh, that'll hit. Okay. And it is uh, seven piercing halved, I think, right? Uh, which one did you hit? Uh, the big guy. The big guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, it would be halved. Um, Oh, so seven was your total, right? So yeah, the, seven was the total. So three. So just enough to piss it off. <laughs> All right. Huh. I, have to, I look at the way that's worded. It's interesting. It seems like you have to have a primary attack before you can use the bonus attack. It's oh, weird. oh, attack. Okay. It look, it's weird the way they word it because I, that's what I was thinking is I thought you had to attack first. Right, right. You're probably right. Yeah. That, I might be missed. That's all right. I'm fine with that because it was only like three freaking damage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, it, it's weird the way that's worded because you think, but I think you have to actually make an attack first before you can get the bonus. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But we're going to go roll with it for now. All right. It's that was roll your... for cool. <laughs> all right. So, uh, let's see. What is he going to do? Um, well, he's not really happy about the whole thing. So I think, let's see, I got to see what kind of an action this is. Uh, because it might be, I don't know if it's a bonus spell or if it's just an action. Flame action is what it is. <laughs> uh, game rules. Spell. Mm -hmm. Sorry, folks, hang on. <laughs> I love D&D Beyond, by the way. D and so, D. I like this. Neviad's great. Just gonna know how to navigate. Oh, like his bonus action. So, mm -hmm. so Mr. Uh, Mr. Oh, Kyle, I'm the one drinking. He's up there. <laughs> the big bag takes a bonus action to cast Missy Step, and he will step right in front of Jody. <gasps> Boy, he doesn't going. like. Don't you. worry, Jody. Humanus is a coming. <laughs> I take oh, it that 30. he rolled a lot more than a 13 on his save this time. So okay. he's to friggin' uh, make an attack. We're gonna see if this works. <laughs> it's gonna roll really well. I take it it's going after Jody because he has the violin, right? Oh, uh, so he misses. Because Nat ones, I'm not having bad guys hit themselves. Fuck you. Uh, no. No, no, you give the player's advantage to hit him because they clearly No, 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 no. Uh, Bullshit DM. Bullshit DM rule. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Vance, it's your turn in the other room where you're futilely trying to burn the place down. Fuck it. <laughs> I hear the noise and I use my cat-like technique to speed into the room if, if I can and I see the violin in Jody's hand, I will pick it up and use it as an improvised weapon against the big bad guy. Oh, there's a bad guy between you, me, and the door. I have cat-like reflexes. How do you want to do this, DM? Your choice. Act cat-like reflexes. Jody's got the violin, <laughs> so you'd have to make it, you would have to use all your actions on getting the violin. 
He's not just going to deal. Be- <laughs> 18 on the roll plus 422. Oh, strength check. The post strength check. Make a strength check if you want to hold on to it. Okay. And you might because you. There it is, boys and girls. Oh, Suck it, bitches. That's a 20. That 20. <laughs> okay. okay. I have I am in. <laughs> Shit just got real, boys and girls. This is where it ends. That's fine. Hey, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know it's great because I win. If he if he does, I win. Scenario, folks, not you guys. <laughs> now, would this be considered a hostile action to my person? And oh. someone make a wisdom saving throw first. I'm Eddie Van Halen, that bitch. <laughs> you know what? Cody. Yeah. Cody, do you consider it as one? Yes. He did oh. chop my goblin friend. <laughs> make, make, make a wisdom saving throw, dearie. There, you know what? I was going to save all three of you fuckers. Jody's going to kill me. <laughs> Don't make a wisdom saving throw because he's considering that a hostile action and he's got You <laughs> made this. Make a friggin' wisdom saving throw. Ooh, four. <laughs> <laughs> it's a violin fucker. But Ooh. you may choose to attack the creature instead if you wish. So you don't. Na, waste na, 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 na. Turn. Not yet. It may turn into it. It's your turn now. Erased a natural twenty roll. That is horse shit. Just use it on uh, use it on the attack. Yeah, use it on the attack. He doesn't want to attack the baddie, so. Oh, okay. If you I'm want to attack the baddie, we'll let I'm it go. Attack it with the violin. I'll I'll stick to the original plan. That's it. Otherwise, you can. Or you use it at twenty for the for the get through the sanctuary, and then the four for the uh, getting it from him. That's true. I don't care. All I want to do, I'm thinking the violin can kill the big bad guy. No. <laughs> well, I fail. Not how it works. All right, doesn't really matter. What you think is what you think. All right, Mortley, it's your turn. Uh, now that I'm no longer supernaturally scared and a little pissed, yep. Yep. I will um, walk back through the door, uh, cursing. Uh, I can't get the spiritual weapon 30 feet to him, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a great spell, Frank. Uh, hmm, I guess I will. I'll just do a sacred flame at him. Uh, um, D, uh, dexterity save, uh, DC 14. He made it. Yeah. Well, well 18 on die. Sorry. Well, you suck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but I'm the bad sorry. guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're back in the room. Your, your turn undead is still in play. Yes. So the zombies have to disengage and go to the corners. Yes. Away from you. So that's their turn. Oh, Jody, it's your turn. <laughs> I flip the violin over and I smash it against his head. Against who? The cat? Motherfucking oh, nat 20. Bullshit. <laughs> I think, yeah. All right, your sanctuary goes away because you're making an attack roll. I am aware. I know the and rules and, inside and out. And go ahead and try to hit Frank. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Concur. I'm not going after Frank. I am going after a big bad guy. Oh, with the violin? Yes. Okay, go ahead and... Oh, so you with- stole my fucking idea. <laughs> this is better, actually. <laughs> 18 on die uh, for the hits 22, 26 and I will make this a smite as well yeah this is why it was actually a good idea <laughs> now when uh, I had it <laughs> could it just beat what on kind of damage does the violin do when I hit it alright well uh, not much right but- Basically, basically roll, I'd say, a 1d4. A 1d4? Yeah, the violin. But the big part is the smite. It's going to 
This is actually better than killing your character. <laughs> it really is. It really is better than killing his character. Denied. <laughs> All right. We are he doing a boner eight down bludgeoning down. damage. Eight bludgeoning, okay. And 16 okay. radiant damage. All right. Well, You're not... Radiant goes through. You have to say the right thing. You have to say Alcabon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really young. You oh, guys are old. you don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, all right, so all right, guys. Babies. Freaking babies. Son of a bitch. Hey, bitch, your turn. Okay. Okay, this is what I have to deal with on a weekly fucking basis. Okay. No, no isn't it? Um, I, I can't but... wait next week because I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, yeah, you're going to fucking wait because you're going to fucking die. I don't care how many nap 20s you have. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Um, oh, I gave do something. Sorry to me. Okay. Bonus action in snaring strike. And I'm going to strike at him with uh, the hand axe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do it. Do it. Do it. Wee. Nat 20. Oh, oh, I suppose that fucking works. That's right. <laughs> Deny his nat 20. Roll damage, and it's not going to take much. Okay. Uh, just roll the damage and then double yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. 13. Well, it's double it because it's, it's halved anyways because it's not magic. Yeah, so it'll just be 13. 13 damage, and it <laughs> is... Hmm? Because all of us, except for Frank, really like this particular stream. How do you want to do this? Oh, crap. <laughs> you get the how do you want to do this? How do you want to do yeah. this? All right. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, with that, I make a slash uh, between head and shoulder blades and separate the skull from the, from the body. And vines just grow up all around the body, uh, restraining oh. it. Yeah, that's way cooler than me flipping over and grabbing a fucking violin. Bullshit! <laughs> no, no, Frank is being a friggin' baby right now. God, you think? He could have used that Nat 20 for something useful, but hey, you know. <laughs> All right, so you kill it. And I, because of the sake of time, the two zombies just are going to just... They're just gonna. They're they gonna. Apart. We'll take care of them. We'll take care. They follow. Yeah, you guys take care of me. You got the violin. I will take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. What's the condition of the violin now that I've used it? Oh as right. Uh, uh, I don't have a men's spell, by the way. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, so hmm. I'm gonna make. I'm trying to make a save for that violin. Per perhaps. If it's in pieces, we take the pieces of the violin to the mistress, the violinist. She may be able to mend it, perhaps. Or we just get another instrument. She just and we just say deal with it. Yeah, deal with it. <laughs> Here's Don't the trumpet, you a baby. I'll tell you what. From you now know, on, she can bump it with Jody. a trumpet. You know, Jody. I'm gonna say this, Jody. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> what are you I have the saxophone. Oh, you got a saxophone. I used to play the saxophone. There we I go. I had a nat 20, bitches. <laughs> and that was so yesterday. Hey, Jody, why don't you make a save? Roll, roll a d20 for that thing. I'll tell you what, better yet. Why don't we do it the Frank way? Why don't we do a d12 against me? Oh, well. A better fairness idea. right there. That is fairness. Oh shit. Well, you're gonna lose. Oh no. You rolled a 12. Yeah. You Way break go, the dick. the volume yeah. does indeed have like a crack in it. You didn't uh, feel that much. But we didn't we didn't destroy it, it though. It it didn't totally destroy it, but it's broken. I would like to grab Humanus's tail. Asking <laughs> if I can play some notes on it. I was gonna say, actually, you know, oh, he's taking the bow. Remember, remember, uh, they make violin uh, strings with the cat, cat gut, gut, so we do have replacements right here. Yeah, but not the wood. You broke the wood. Oh, oh 
Humanus so he's got wood. wood. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, someone said they had a mending spell. You don't talk. No, I said I don't no, have a mending don't. spell. None of us do. What are you going to do? Uh, Bring it back to a broken. Bring it yeah. back, yeah. yeah. I am going to whine about how I had the perfect solution. <laughs> You would have the same. And solution. we're all going to be like, oh, that was a great Jody, job. Jody, you did amazing. Here's the oh, thing that thank you. Guys, hey, it's great. Frank, oh, here's a little thing to suck on. Jody could use it far more effectively than you could. Oh, that's what you <laughs> Says the person whose people are dead. <laughs> Nobody's dead yet. Yeah, and she's not there. In fact, this is a town that isn't necessarily there. I just friggin' made this place up. <laughs> not on my map. Make believe. And maybe at some point. Uh, all right, so what are you guys going to do? Um, back. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take the, the violin, violin back. Actually, uh, I guess we should We should probably ask around town if there's anybody that can cast bending. God, that would probably be the... 12 against me. Roll against you? Yeah, roll oh, a d12. Dear. Roll a d12. Oh dear. You're probably gonna beat me well, because I did not well. Can we all? Assist? I got a four. I got a four. No, it's just a d12. It's you know to decide. I got you a beat four. me. You roll oh. a one. Oh. So uh, yes, uh, you can find someone who can cast mending. All right, we demand that he cast mending. Well, politely. <laughs> you don't have to demand. He'll see the violin and freak out because you fuckers broke it. <laughs> Whoa! As long as the break isn't past an wait, it was an inch long, I think it is. It's a small, it's a small, it basically was made for some. But it's enough, I guess. We we found a uh, instrument repair guy, usually a trombone repair guy named Kyle <laughs> in the village. <laughs> there you go, right there, right there. That fucking connects the dots. And and he's got some magic in him, so he can, you know, make sure that the magic and is Skippy there. does. I assume then you bring it back to her in one piece. We do. We do. All right. So, I would like to trip on the cobblestones and land on top of it. <laughs> I urinate yeah. on it. No, because it's the end of the night and we're done. Leave town. So, <laughs> so what the story is, so what the story was, I will, I will tell it quickly. You're you're How over about, a minute by the oh, way. Oh, hold on, hold on. Carol quickly or actual quickly? Oh, it's prepping. It's It'll be long. They really are a bunch of assholes. I'm just. I'm hey, used to I willingly now. listen to you after in the green room, but right now, you know, you know, time. Maybe are you going to be the longest person? Kyle, maybe if you'd shut up, I'd actually be done by now. So basically, okay, just make sure no one talks over you, okay? Zip it. Can you mute him, Carrie? I'll, I'll go ahead and mute him. Kyle, you're talking over her a lot. <laughs> really, a lot. You're talking and, uh, over you her a massive <laughs> amount. A, a really large amount. Especially since <laughs> you get the fucking nat 20. She can mute you too. Shit. <laughs> she probably just, they just haven't muted all of us. Oh, oh, <laughs> two of them. All right. Oh How God. could you do that to me? You can't right. mute me. So, you can't. So what the story is, about 50 years ago, a necromancer came to town and raised all the dead in the graveyard to build an army. So this, this violinist who was a bard, uh -huh. uh, she got together with a person in town who makes musical instruments, one of the finest ones in the land. And yeah. they made musical instrument and imbued it with magics to cause a ritual to call all the undead back into the graveyard. And they have to renew this ritual every year on the three nights. Thank you, Care, for unmuting me. <laughs> so that's the, basic, that's the basic story of behind it. Uh, you know, you're not meant to fight the necromancer. That is like, the necromancer is now like a lich. Who is still trying to be trying to create an army? However, because of efforts of adventurers like you, he has been he has been stopped from creating this army. Pretty sure she only means like yes. me and Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, Jody 
Yeah, Jody would have been. No, fair. no, I'm sticking with what I said. <laughs> no, you're probably fair. So that is the story. <laughs> to be fair, you've unmuted me like three or four times now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can unmute yourselves even when somebody else mutes you because I think that. Uh, all right, Not so. Much, you think. I think. All right, so we're going to do final thoughts, except for maybe Frank. <laughs> yeah, you are Frank. And I really, if you can unmute yourself, that would be cool. I didn't actually want that to happen. Fuck I, it. I'm not, I'm not unmuting myself. He, not he just it. did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're unmuted, but you did. Okay. I like hearing myself in reverb. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I guess I yeah. kind of enjoyed running this. Uh, Kyle, final thoughts. Uh, really enjoyed it. I would have really loved for it to be a three hour game, but you know, that's my <laughs> shtick. So I appreciate you not stepping on that. Honestly, I could do a three hour game because that was what it was when we did the play test. But I said I had a bunch, I had a basement. So we had a fight in the basement, and then I also had a bunch of just fun stuff they did at the beginning. Uh, 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 let's see. I don't know. DJ, final thoughts. Different style game. It really But it was is. fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, balls on chin, man. Definitely gave it some <laughs> spice. Uh, Jody, uh, very good use of Sanctuary. Gabriel, uh, I, I appreciate you trying. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. <laughs> David always does. David, uh, go ahead. Final thought. It, it took a little getting used to this character, but I enjoyed it. I love I love the adventure. I love the theme. I come from a city of the dead. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I loved it. It was perfect. <laughs> Jody, uh, yeah, I will agree. Kyle, great use of Sanctuary. That was phenomenal. Because, um, Frank, I'm going to let you have the last one. Well, last word to sign us all off. Uh, all you guys, you guys who actually gave a shit, did pretty did great, and it was it was very entertaining. As usual, it didn't go the way I really thought it would. But then again, I go into these games without a lot of expectations. Uh, all right, that's my final thought, and um, thank you guys for playing. Uh, Frank, go ahead. Your final thought, and do the usual. And he's and muted. Oh, no. no, is he? Then it's just time. I'm you're pulling a Kyle. Okay, so uh, it never goes the same way that you ever think it does. No. So young DMs, don't worry about that shit. Think on your feet. Uh, it happens. You have an idea. Your players will fuck you over. That's just yeah. the way it is. All well, I'm going to say is, I not 20 that bitch. I own that violin. <laughs> Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our shit, it's down there. If you want to join us in Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, seriously, if you want to join us for either the talk yeah. show on Tuesdays or a one shot, M Hobo Inc., Gmail or Twitter. Back to you, Carol. Oh, well, that was that was it. I mean, everybody go ahead and wave. At set. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all. Maybe I'll do this again. I don't know if they terrorize me. Please do it again. <laughs> Good night. Oh. Dear <laughs> Good night. Oh. Good night.